Like, oh my god, the bees. Ha! Wrecked. All right. <clears throat> Whoa, dude. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Home Wars. Look at those mechs. Ah, oh, those dang mechs. I can't get them. Because, well, I mean, I can. It's just going to take a long time. We're probably going to kick these bugs booties. So, guys, I've been going over the comments. Now, real quick, I just got back from going out and getting tacos and coffee. I haven't eaten the tacos yet. I'm going to wait till this video is rendering. Because it does take a little bit of time. And in that, and in that, that's taco time. Taco 7, Taco Tuesdays. It's not even Tuesday. It's Wednesday, guys. Taco Wednesdays. So, as you can tell, I'm pretty caffeinated right now. But anyway, so real quick, I've got a few questions for you after going over your comments for the last video, which has been blowing up. I mean, who doesn't like green plastic armament bases? Am I right? I like them. I like them a lot. So, is Mini Money was saying we should probably go for air superiority. And Matthias was asking the question, hey, well, he wasn't asking a question. He was actually a little more opinionated on it. But he was saying that we might need to start over. So, ooh, look at that. But, like, why am I going to want to start over when I'm about to kick their butts? I think there's been a lot of updates to this game. So, Insane Dreamers, the developers of this game, I got to say, there are a few things about your game that are pretty frustrating. But this is an early access game. And you know what I love about you guys? You are updating this game every two to four days. Like, I looked at the, like, there was a patch this morning. And, I, like, in the last one was two days ago. The one before that was two days ago. These guys are passionate about their game, and they're just not throwing up for a cash grab. They are, like, going to make a good game. And they are determined to do it. And I've just got to say, Insane Dreamers, you are the type of developers that I love to work with and the games that I love to cover. This is a fun game. Could it use a lot of work? Yeah. Is it a lot of fun? Yeah. Like, and, and you guys are updating it, like, regularly. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so, and then Orikami was saying that, oh, this is the key thing. Uh, we, we're probably, we're probably out of it. So, spare parts, where are they? This, these are the things that uh, use, the supply trucks use to heal our soldiers. So, thank you for that pro tip. It's just like, this game is so detailed, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going to. We got a retreat from there. They're stealing. Oh my God! We need a satellite in this room. Wait a minute. Why can't I? Oh, I was gonna say you better not glitch me, dude. Look at this. We got yellow jackets up in here, dude. And they get off my flags. Maybe I should have fought them. Uh, can both these armies march? I could march them there. That was like 134. But then I think they could power up both armies. So I'm, I'm actually gonna lure them back here. And then I, I'm fairly certain that we can't attack these two flags. I already did. We're almost done. Um, ooh, here we go. Mission completed. What do you think about that, Bugs? Now, to win this day, I think I have to hold the three flags that are closest to the base. I don't think I can attack. I, I can't march out there, I'm fairly certain. Here, let's see. We got green boots, right? So, yeah. I think I've got to hold this flag in this flag as well as this one so i'm almost there we're gonna end the day here so my question is should we restart this campaign i think not i think you guys are gonna be okay with me finishing it like look at this we're going we're gonna crush them what 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 do you even have you silly little bugs you got the regular stuff i'm gonna kick your butt but okay so in yesterday's videos uh yesterday's video i was saying that i'm going to release um, oh man, I thought they were gonna attack. They're not going to attack. That means I'm gonna go, well, see, it's just like a very low unit count. We've got these assault vehicles, which seem pretty good. And we've got anti-aircraft infantry. This is a pretty high quality army. Or do we have not, did I not buy sappers? Oh, okay, I've only got two sappers. Anyway, I'm gonna march them over here. We're gonna be aggressive. Be aggressive, be e aggressive. But anyway, I've been waiting to to release this video on the game Fortnite, which is really cool. But it's got a cool concept that I think a game like this could adopt. Or rather, better yet, I'm going to be completely honest with you. For me, YouTube isn't the end-all be-all. I love YouTube. I'm passionate about YouTube, but I'm more passionate about games. And I want to develop games. I want to make my own games. I want to be I want to be the guy who comes up with the cool ideas, who's got a team of epic people, and we make games. And they are awesome. That's what I want to do. So 134. It's just ants.
But I think that there's so many high numbers that I don't think we're really equipped to deal with them right now. So I'm going to have to build an army of uh, meat shields, and then next turn we should be able to do it. Now, I would like an auto-resolve, because this is, this is a foregone conclusion right here, that I'm going to win this battle. They've got a lot of big bugs, but I've got a lot of, I got a lot of really good stuff. And we're not losing, ooh, we're going to go back to Orikarmi's suggestion and ensure that we have all of the ammunition and spare parts that we need. Because this is the thing, you've got to keep, I've run out of ammunition in lost battles, and we've lost incendiary ammunition. But I, did I buy the factory? Did I buy the incendiary factory? I did not. I did not buy it. We should probably do that. Do we want an incendiary factory? Because then I can use flamethrowers. It'll use seven power, so we'll eventually go down in power. Hmm. This is a this is a question here. But do wait 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 wait. Close this. I want to launch a satellite. Here. I've never done it. Uh, 50 incendiary bears? See, we, we can't even do that. I mean, we could go to the market and buy them. But I'm, I'm not sure if satellites were, were the thing to do. Um, and I'd rather recruit a giant army because I feel like we're about to wreck house. Get some machine guns. Oh, we got them built fed machine guns. We'll get a few sappers. This is going to be a really, really... And then, oh yeah, I wanted... um. I wanted a lot of a lot of really good stuff. I wanted a lot of elite units. Now, okay, create the army. So that army, we're gonna go after that. And these three units together, this one back here, and these two should be able to conquer both armies in that area. So what we're going to do, I believe. No, I don't want to launch a satellite. That was weird. Yeah, no, what? Just another like little bug that needs to be worked on. All right, so we have these two areas, and there's only three that we don't have. We got to defend this. But yeah, I would like a an auto resolve. It's a game. It's a it's a mechanic that you you know we're all familiar with from like the Total War type games and other like macro strategy games. Um, because some people like the kingdom management aspect of it. All right, so we've got 20 seconds. Ooh, we've got. We've got one of these, uh, defend these flag points. That should be interesting. We've got a lot of areas. Let's do the tactical view. The bugs only have one area they're coming in. So all I've got to do is kind of close that off. Uh, basically here and here. So I want to force, let's see, where's the fastest way to get over there? It's still, ooh, this is cool music. Is the music been updated? Insane dreamers? Or, am I, or is this like... Or I'm out of, out of my mind. So they've got low numbers. We're going to use mechanized uh, warfare here. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. I definitely want some artillery. We'll move them in the back. Now, I think they've got a lot of flyers. I've got a lot of battle points, so I'm not too worried about that. Invalid position. Don't tell me how to live my life, okay? And then we'll go over here. We And see, these guys should be able to get there fast enough and block off both choke points. Oh, there we go. We're out of recons. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send little infantry detachments. Oh, yeah, I definitely want that one light tank to support uh, each wave. And then we're going to go with uh, some, uh, some sappers could be good. You might. I don't know. All right. Oh, look at how many. All right. And we're just going to do lots of those guys. And then a few shotguns. Got to watch the battle points. I might run out of units to put on. Now I got to ensure that I've got a few. I'm just going to use like one light rifleman. Invalid position. See, I don't understand why I can put them here, but not there. Just, just a little bit of confusion. We'll put one light guy. And then this group needs some some soldiers to, you know, hold the line with. We'll give you one sapper. And I think that should be good. Too many troops on the battlefield. Yep. 
All right, so we're going to close that. We are going to go ahead and start the battle. We're going to pause it. Now, who is this again? The Light Rifleman. He's going to capture these points. Now, what we got to do is build our defenses. And by build them, I mean, we're just going to... We're going to wreck house. They're coming from that doorway. No, 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 no. I'm trying to make a line. You know what? Screw it. No, why can't I make a line? What is going on? I'm right click and drag and that's what we, we did we used to do. Okay, this is gonna be weird. Okay, there might be a little bit of a glitch going on. Or maybe in the update, I don't know. I don't like it. Cause I like the whole drag a line. Because then I had a really good idea of where my stuff was. Uh we're gonna pull these guys up. We're gonna move the artillery here. Now we gotta get this other group moving um okay 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 let's put you guys like here this is gonna be really sloppy this is this kind of changes everything all right so let's just double check conquer the flags when time expires we gotta hold the flags fair enough fair enough fair enough we gonna do it now we're gonna get who's this guy assault troop heavy rifleman all right, and we'll put him in a position, and I guess that's just how we got to do it. Wait, where's where's our little light? There he is. You can barely see him. Okay. So these recon vehicles. All right, the bugs are spawning in. They should be splitting up and going both ways. It seems like the majority of them are going down south. The soldiers are not in, but we do have artillery support here. Oh my god, the big flyers are coming in. Where's our tank? Yeah, see, I don't I don't like this at all. Like the infantry are all bunched up. And I wanted them on this nice line screening the vehicles. So then there's like this overlapping of fire. Yeah, there's definitely something weird going on right here. Something Something crazy is happening. Oh, look, some of the big guys are getting through because the infantry's not in place yet. So we're going to move the supply truck so that they do their thing. Now, while that's happening, what? how's that spider just getting getting by? Yeah, see, I don't... What? They're going, they're going bonsai mode here. Yeah, that's my flag, you hippie. All right, where's this light guy? Oh my god, did that guy... That guy may have killed my light soldier. All right, we'll have to use recon vehicles because they're using their mobility here. Who's this guy? That's my sapper, right? All right, we'll use right recon vehicles. Yeah, I don't... Oh, man. They just... I'm going to have to send a recon vehicle at all these things, probably. Because there's so many little flyers. All right, so we're going to need a detachment to kind of go around and hunt the guys that are... Sneaking around and flying around, right? But I think with a recon vehicle on all of them, we should be fine. All right, so let's see. And we'll have one bodyguard for the artillery, just in case. I got the sapper, but I don't know if I really need him. So 67, look at that. So I guess it's what? First one to 350? Or until time expires, possibly? Is that a dead bug? Yeah, that was a dead bug. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think there's something strange afoot. Alright, how's it going? There's giant cockroaches out. So let's get the tank and fire down. We are going to rain down absolute heck on them. Alright, so my idea was um, in Fortnite, you have this central fort. Like, oh my god, the bees. Ha! Wrecked! Oh, they're getting wrecked. Alright. We're gonna aim for the flyers. Let's see. Can I hit that guy? Oh, a little behind him. Using a tank as an anti-aircraft gun. That's a very expensive anti-aircraft gun, ain't it? Oh, he dropped before I could hit him. Here we go. <laughs> I love using this tank gun to shoot at these bugs straight in the face. In the face! 
Boom. <laughs> you see him get dropped? What are you doing? Where do you think you're going, little buggy face? Oh, ooh, he's like, I'm going over this couch. You can't stop me. Well, I guess you're right. All right, we're, out, we're running out of ammo. So in that, you have this central base. Now, oh, God. Our supplies are way over here. That could be problematic. Oh, God. Yeah, the trucks are running out of ammo. Let's see if we can't get some more supplies. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is, this is a terrible thing. Wait, I need a supply drop function. I know, that, I know that there's one of the ways to do that. All the trucks are running out of ammo. So, now we've got to just micro it. There's a lot of micromanagement, and, like, I'm fine with micromanagement, but sometimes it just seems like... It's micromanagement because, like, the game developers are almost like, we're just going to make a logistics-based game, you know? And I think, like, I'm still thinking of this game as, like, a combat-based game. Oh, wait a minute. Are they dead? They're dead. All right, so we speed it up. And see, that's another thing. Like, I would like these things to be automatically resolved. I don't want to have to spend, you know, five minutes at four times. So, like, yeah, shut up, guys. <laughs> To, uh, like, let me know. We're out of ammo. Everybody's out of ammo. And there's no bugs left alive. But we've got all the points and they're dead. There should be, like, it should be over, right? The battle should end. And I think they're going to eventually work up towards that. But right now, it needs to be done. There we go. Battle's won because we got to 350. So I guess that makes sense. But there should be an overriding thing. When the enemies are totally dead, the battle's over. You won. Oh, my God. Look at this bomber. This thing looks like it's got some crazy bombs under it. So we lost zero. We're we're doing we're doing the Lord's work out here, guys. So anyway, in the game Fortnite, you have a central base. And actually like one that can be attacked. And this game almost reminds me of just like Army Men Starship Troopers, right? Where you like are in this foreign world and like bugs keep attacking. And I think it'd be really cool to have that where you could continue upgrade like actual physical defenses, not just a base in production, but like where you'd have soldiers and defenses and stuff like that, and you would get attacked there, and you send out little groups to, uh, you know, engage the enemy. Okay. All right. I'm trying to click there to defend and retreat. So actually, once I do that, they're probably going to converge on this one. I'm not, I'm not ready to fight them there yet. Now, this guy, you've already won that, so can we move you here? And you guys have done that one, so let's move you back, back this way. I really wish, oh, 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 I thought I had it, guys. All right, so the army's there. We've got 207 left. We're going to end this day. We're going to see what the bugs throw at us, because they're going to throw an army every turn. Um, But we should be able to, oh, here we go. This, this should be an interesting battle. This guy, we've got light tanks, we've got some machine guns. Oh, you know what I didn't buy? Well, I guess this is just an army of ants, so we didn't buy any anti-aircraft stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to attack them. 65 to 134, but they're... What? 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 What's going on? There's it. There's a bug in an army of bugs. And the bug is overriding the bugs. We're, we'll, we'll take the victory. Oh, now we have to defend it. Interesting. That's very peculiar. Very peculiar. Let's go ahead and see what we want to unlock. So you guys were saying air superiority, right? So let's let's do that, you know? Let's use a, a bomber. Hmm. But see, what I want to know, I like helicopters. Speed and firepower of the aircraft is perfect for both attack and defense. And as every helicopter, it's great for land targets. You know what? Attack helicopter. And then we get that ship. Dude, let's, let's unlock that. Now, what else did I want to get? Should we? We've got, what, 133 left. So we don't have a whole lot. I want to unlock that mech, man. I thought you could just skip to it. Because that thing would be super duper good. Maybe we might need a supply chopper. So that we can get observers and paratroopers, but I'm really feeling like this war's about done. So we've got two more battles to do here. Um, this one's kind of like whatever. I mean, it's the same amount. Are there any new ones? There's not any new bugs, per se. Per se, there are no new bugs. And we've got to conquer the flags again. 
So let's see. Let's see. How does one win the game? Objectives. Battle mode. Not. In a, I want to go to strategic maps, satellites, missions, enemy armies. Um. How does one win the day? Let's see. I don't know. Do you really? Is it? Basic info. To okay, conquer all three sectors of the room closest to the enemy nest. Oh, hold the phone. That means. I think. Do we have an army close to there? Hold on. This is it then, right? I maybe I gotta I gotta do this one. I gotta see if we can't win the battle. Because then we can start a new campaign. Because one of the cool features, I think I need to do a walkover. And, I, and I, I probably had the option last game. Okay, so it's more or less the same situation, right? All right, guys. So the battle is starting. I think this might just be it. So we're going to move this tank up to the front line. So he's got unobstructed shots of these giant spiders. We're going we're gonna to lay down 105 millimeters of high explosive pain on these bad boys. Now, it's interesting, tanks have like armor piercing shots and HE shots. I don't think that's like in the game right now. But it'd be interesting if like some bugs had armor. And, like, you know, for swarms you'd want to use HE rounds, but then on like some of the bigger bugs you might want to use uh, armor piercing rounds. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're, oh, here we go. Spiders incoming. Shoot them in the face with a horrified. Oh, we got grasshoppers. So we haven't had to use sappers, but we might just get complete victory here. I really hope we do. All right, so oh, we're gonna we're gonna let you do your thing, soldier. Now we've got infantry groups holding these flags, and we've got two recon vehicles there. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right, let's get these infantry, move them up to the front. We want infantry to get attacked prior to uh, recon vehicles. You know, what I mean, it's just a simple matter of expenditure. Oh, we can't move this guy to the front. Oh yeah, we can. Kind of. There's definitely like some uh, collision wonkiness, which is kind of funny, but hey, here we go. Let's protect that tank, soldiers. All right, so I think that complete victory is within our grasp. Look at that green bug trying to get there. But we've got, oh, I didn't use artillery this time, actually. Okay, so we're at 88 out of 350. So I think at this point, since we're just wrecking house, we're just going to accelerate this to four times, which is the current fastest. I think there might need to be a times 10. That would almost be effectively uh, an auto resolve. There's still a lot of enemy bug groups left, but n very rarely do they actually get to our front lines. There we go. There's, all their big flyers just came in and got wrecked. All right, soon we're gonna like start running out of ammunition via the supply trucks, and that's where the whole like. There we go. Look at that. Um, but there's only 13 groups. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. And we're at 240. We're 250. We've only got a hundred points left. The enemy bugs. There's only one group. There's only yep. They dead. They all dead. So now we just speed it up and wait for this to get to 350. Okay. So, but just imagine if you were to take this game and com com kind of combine it with the uh, basic fundamentals of Fortnite, where you have a central base that can be attacked, but then you also have all these like missions and stuff. All right, we're almost there, and victory! All right. Look at that. Look at that. His defense are getting overwhelmed, that guy's got an auto grenade launcher. We are going to close that. Now, I think what we've got to do is... Can I do it? The home is ours! Yes, boys! Yes! Congratulations, General. After months of fighting, we have finally crushed the invaders. We are sure they will try to attack us next year, but now it's time to celebrate. We have at least five months to rest, train new troops, and create new tactics. Honor is ours, General. So, the campaign statistics. We lost 346 allies, and we wiped out 89,000 plus enemy bugs. General, your service has been fundamental to the success of this war. However, we understand that after such a venture, you may want to take a break, which is why we accept your resignation, hoping that one day you'll want to lead us to victory again. We heard that our other nearby armies, after many defeats, are looking for a valiant general. If you want to meet them, we can send messengers to alert them about your arrival. 
Um, new season, new challenge, and new carnage. The war's over. Bugs have lost. Unfortunately, those beasts won't surrender. After the cold winter months, cold war, we'll need a courageous general again. So, let's see. We're going to close this campaign because... We need to start a campaign that is that has been updated, right? So, all right. How do I change my color? Might be in the settings. There's been a lot of things that have and I've done it. All right. Okay, air to ground. Soldier's color. Look at it. Here it is. Now, what what color do we want to do? I want to have red soldiers. Yeah, I want red soldiers. All right, so that's the cool thing, is we can create new army men, right? Um, so we're going to close that. Now we've got red soldiers, boys. So these, all these B-52 bombers. Heavy bombers. So one of the things, now, I like to do a turn every day, a turn every two days. That's how you get experience. Oh, we did home sweet home. Let's do double hallway. Oh my gosh, that's, that is a long choke point in here. Wait a minute. So here... Here's our starting base, so there's one, two, three, four to get to the enemy base. Double hallway is, here's our base, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. That is a consider, and then Veranda's Beach. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's the bridge. One, two, three, four, five six or is it six seven eight my gosh this one looks like a cool house but man the, the like so here we go guys what type of base should we do i mean what which of these houses i'm not gonna do home sweet home we've already done it we could do double hallway we could do veranda's breach we could do the bridge the bridge looks kind of cool there's this big choke point but I wonder what the best way is to fight the bugs, right? And then, um, so, and then obviously, like, what types of research should we do? But, yeah, my idea, I really like the idea of, like, a game where you have a central base that can be attacked similar to Fortnite, but then you can send your men out on missions and fight in smaller bases, build up temporary defenses, right? And it'd almost be like toy soldiers mixed with Fortnite mixed with Home Wars. How cool would that be? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We're kicking butt. We just won our first campaign, and now it's time to start another one because I know you guys are loving the Home Wars. Let me know what color we should make our soldiers. We're going to do something different than green. Maybe tan. Ooh, maybe that. Maybe maybe tan or blue because those were like the other colors of the army men. I rarely saw red plastic army men when I was a kid. I don't even think I did. And in the old army men games, there was green versus tan, and then there was like this neutral blue faction that kind of came in and were like the arms dealers or something cool like that. Anyway, guys, my name is Baron. Thanks for watching another episode of Home Wars. In today's episode, we did defeat the bugs. And you know what, guys? I will see you in the next one.